Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. Today we're playtesting Westwood Shadows. I am playtesting it through the GameRound.co platform. I checked it out on Steam though. And this, it's going to be released this year in 2021. And you can see in the bottom right, it's a pre-alpha demo. I looked on Steam, like I said, and uh, they, they came out with a new demo this month in May. So let's check it out. This is a, it's a like murder mystery kind of thing. And it's an adventure game. This is a blind, blind review. So I haven't played it yet, and we're going to go through all the cutscenes and stuff, because I think it's it's one of those kind of games. Shh, it's starting. Unit 503 on Westwood Patrol, report to dispatch. 503 to dispatch. Detective Peter Bennett on duty. Copy 10-2, loud and clear. Receiving you, Peter. What's your location? Chris, I like your music. I'm patrolling the old Westwood area. My current location is north of 21st Avenue. Dispatch controller Ray Ness received a 1021 from 17 Lancaster Street. Anonymous caller reported domestic disturbance. Respond to the residents and report back when you are on site. Roger that, dispatch. Is there a registered owner on record? Is that Batman? Affirmative, 503. The residence is registered to Nathan and Jane Foster. Nobody has seen them in a while, though. Copy. I'm on route. Report back when you reach the premises, 503. Over. <sighs> I never thought I would go back to that area. That sounds like the guy who voiced Max Payne, kinda. <laughs> Don't worry about it, honey. Just finish work as soon as you can and come home. We'll pick up the cake and the candles on our way back from the park. See you later. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> the echo we love you. Those look like stock photos that come like when you buy a picture frame. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just making observations. No, 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 no. Stay away, sir. There's nothing we can do for them. It's too late. Please. It's my family. I have to save them. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have been there with them. Five oh three to dispatch. I am approaching the ten two area now. The front alley path on the north side is blocked off. The residence looks habited. Some lights are on, but there's nobody here. I think it's habitated, right? Copy, Peter. Report anything that can help us locate and contact or any vehicle. Negative. No visual of either. I will approach the front entrance. Westwood Shadows. So I noticed this a lot in these games that I play test, and I, I think I, I don't think most people care, but I'm just gonna say it briefly and I won't say it again because sometimes I harp on it too much. In the dialogue, I noticed a lot of uh, grammatical like grammatical and punctuation errors. And that's all I'm gonna say. Keyboard controls. I dig it. Okay. WASD standard. 
Left shift is run. Standard. Alt is crouch. I don't know why. Um, I usually like to have control as crouch. And then, like, say, C as a, a, a crouch toggle. Toggleable crouch. Interact is left click. Cool. Inventories tab. Journals J. Everything's good. Right on. Like, I mean, uh, uh, standardized. Like, not like good. It, it, it's up to spec by my standards. No, it's not like that. I just mean, like, uh, it's... It's what's uh, expected, I guess. Okay, so I'm pressing... Oh, there it goes. Now it's letting me crouch. Westwood police. Is oh, anybody here? that was a knock on the door. Or was it? No, that's our footsteps. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. So, so I, I left-click on it, and then we pick it up, and then you can just, like, rotate it with the mouse. Like so. Yo, yeah, we'll take it. Come in handy. Heck yeah, dude. A UV function. Dang. That looks like like a you know two dollar uh flash like camping flashlight that you get for free when you buy the sleeping bag. So I'm surprised it has Nobody a UV light. To be here. How do you know? You've only gone in the front room, dude. Uh, I had a little hiccup there on the computer. Really ornate uh, finishes on the walls. Can we play? No, we can't. I don't think we can play that. Oh. Well, that's handy. It tells us, like, hey, there's a thing here. Statue on the floor. I don't know what. Uh. Oh, it's Mars. Okay. So Roman mythology, right? Oh, we can sit down? Looks very comfortable. Now, how about if we move the... Okay, so tab. Tab to bring up uh, the inventory. Mars statue, use. Cannot be used here. Okay, no problem. But we can't sit down either. This looks very comfortable. It sure does. Oh, okay, so we need the other guitar. Cool, it's one of those games. You have to think a little bit. I'm assuming. I don't I don't know. Really old stuff here. Huh. Just kind of like looking at the decoration. I'm sure the curiosity will wear off. Um, as, you know, like, it's part of playing a new game. Oh, a noise. Part of playing a new game is that you have to learn what the developer... Kind of like, you know, developers have, like, a style. And then so after a while playing a game, you realize, like, what, what the style is. And part of that styling is uh, what they expect of the player and just kind of, like, how everything works. Like, do I need to go around and, like, read every little note? Do I need to, like, go look behind the statue of the dude? Also Mars, right? Or, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I have a feeling it's not that in-depth, which is great, because I don't enjoy those kinds of things. Spend six hours, like, searching one room of a house. Oh, cool. Oh, is it, is it a mirror that works? Or a vampire that kind of works? Just trying to, like, go around. I guess, let's just... This is us running. Oh, we're going to collect all the statues. Take Venus and Cupid. Cool. There's the firewood. I like the detail involved in the in the level design. I, you know, we've noticed it a lot. I mean, I, I've noticed it a lot so far. I'm sure you have too. You know, from, from the finishes, all this kind of like... It's like casing. I don't know. But it's... From that stuff to the, the corners, you have... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what kind of architecture this is or if it's just kind of something they made up or what, but, um, you know, you have, like, the wallpaper that's peeling off. Or it's, like... It's not just peeling off, right? It's, like, gone in pieces. The fire looks good, I think. And I, I noticed back here there's the reflection on the hearth. Okay, let's let's try to find a guitar. I guess, or just kind of wander around more. This is us running.
the li the light beams are cool, but like you know, they're kind of confusing. It looks like um, the outside, like it's not far enough away. That the texture that represents the outdoors, it, it's like right outside the window. It looks like it needs to be pushed out like a few thousand feet. And maybe like put the moon. I don't know. Details. What is that thing? A yin and yang ish. Okay. Can't open that one. It seems like we're kind of collecting statues and looking for a guitar, I guess, at this point. Um, there's the... The call was for this house. I have to search for the owners. This one? Ooh. Look at that. What is... My apartment smells of leather-bound books and rich mahogany. I, don't, uh, I just butchered that quote, but... Uh, Oh. Looks like something is missing. Sweet. So we need... Well, how many statues? And then where's the picture that tells us where the statues go? We need three statues. We probably can't pick this one up. Yep. Just looking at the... This is not very smooth. I was just kind of checking that out. The, the statue there. This looks like a secret door or something, doesn't it? Oh, well, there's a bust. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think those are it. Maybe we missed a statue. Let's go back real fast. None in here. Not that I'm seeing. This is where we started. That's an interesting plan. Oh, oh, oh. Things. Nathan. I have to leave this place. I'm. Oh, what this research was about and what happened to Nathan. Was it Nathan and Jane Foster were the owners of the house, right? I have to leave this place. I'm afraid, and I believe it's not safe here anymore. Please call me when you see this. We have to stop the research. I wish I knew how to help you, Jane. Uh, toggle plain text. Oh, there we go. <laughs> cool. I, I do like that the handwritten notes though. The owners probably. Nathan and Jane Foster. I wonder what happened to. I, I like how the camera, like, uh, unfocuses. You know, because you have something that's, like, a lot closer than the picture itself, like, the corner of the frame, like, right now, and, like, the picture itself unfocuses. I like that. Oh, can the we owners, probably. take it? No, we Nathan can't. And Jane Foster. I wonder what happened to them. Oh, we already tried. Oh, we didn't try this one? Hearing the noise here. That is a huge refrigerator. Like, <laughs> that's enormous. Like, it's tall. I think, like, you know, the, uh, anyway, the cubic footage inside wouldn't be as much as, like, what, what we would expect if it were, like, you know, a normal size refrigerator, normal height. Babe, I was going to call you, but I have no phone signal again. I will be out exploring. Did you know the asylum is only a block away from our house? Just a couple of minutes from our backyard. See you later, Jane. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Do they have kids? I haven't seen any evidence of kids yet. You know, for those magnets. It's all this junk on the countertop. Black mold. Just part of the detail. I, I enjoy it. I really... It makes a huge difference. Just small details. Doesn't matter if they're, like, cohesive or if they make sense. You know, like, it, it's just the detail. I appreciate it. It's a nice kitchen. I have a feeling that we're going to get the bejesus scared out of us pretty soon. Or, or attempted. Why would a safe be exposed like this? The safe is moving away from us. Oh no, we're kind of like swaying as we stand. That's an enormous bike, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> let's try to find some stuff. Was that... Oh, was there... Let's look at the refrigerator. I'm not, I'm looking for an for evidence of like um you know clues for like uh the, the combination for the safe lock. Cause I'm guessing we can press it, right? Three, 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 three. Enter. What does it do if we enter and it's the wrong thing? Denied. Get out of here. Oh. I'm hearing new noises and whispers. Let's go back here. And then 
that that should be changed there should be a transition between the sounds that we're hearing right here and oh okay so i'm wrong so what i thought was happening was that like the sounds the sounds change like the ambient noise changes as we were coming down the hallway and like then it would do it again as we came back like that was the sound for this area but that was like some kind of just a timed a triggered event Password secure door. Fosters must have a lot of secrets. They sure do have a lot of junk, don't they? I'm not sure if the secrets are in the junk or if the junk is the secret. Probably neither. They just have a lot of stuff. Box. Oh, oh, oh. Its hand seems to be missing. Oh, no. That's that's almost literally a needle in a haystack, right? In this house, trying to find the minute hand. Is that it? That's just a knife, right? We take no. Just go around and look at stuff. We we make less noise when crouched, but not no noise. Okay. I'd like to do more like a broad... Oh, blood. Blood. Look at the blood guy. Tell me about the blood. Oh, is it... What? What's going on there? That's the front door and it's not... It's not even locked or anything or the back door or whatever. And it's just... You can't... We can't interact with it at all. It doesn't like... It doesn't do this. See how our cursor turns from the dot to the circle? It doesn't happen here. So I just noticed that. I don't think it's a big deal. I'm just saying it's there. What else have we? Got the blood stained. Or maybe it's like wood stain. So, yeah, this is where we started, right? Yes, because the picture... Okay, so now let's kind of, like, get... So we go down here. There's all the junk down that way. Maybe the... The minute hand is in the junk somewhere. What was that? Was that a... Oh, no. I thought I saw, like, a, an indicator saying that we could use it or something. The alt crouch isn't too bad, you know? It just... It's not, like... It's not a very intense game yet, so it's okay just to... Have to think about the button you're pressing instead of like muscle memory, like with like a first person shooter or something. It's kind of nice because you know that's just where your my that's where my thumb is, like right in that area. Can I search the cushions for change in a minute hand? Okay, not here. Try to be a little bit more systematic about this. Anything in here? The skis extend underneath... Oh, there's a big space. Okay. We've already... Oh, yeah, this is the one we just tried. We've already looked at all this. Pretty closely. Not so much over here, though. I think once once we find the minute hand, it'll give it'll give me a better idea of what is expected. Like depending on where it is, if it's like inside of a drawer or something, like that looks like it might be important, right? Can we smash and grab it? That's interesting. Just two different colors right there. Eh, not that interesting, is it? This is where we just came in here, right? Yeah. Okay. Plenty of places left to explore. I just... I'm one of those people. Like, I'm... I just want to make sure I didn't leave anything behind because then we have to go back for it. What's on the table? Red soup. What? Cigars? Red soup cigars. My favorite. What is that thing? Is that just like a, a mixing? Yeah, it's a spoon. Okay, I guess we'll put these on the... 
uh, use. And come over here. I don't know. I'm just putting them here for now. I don't know the order. I don't, I'm not. I'm not well read with uh, mythology. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm still. I'm. I'm really liking the level design a lot. Pictures on the wall going up the stairs. You see that a lot, like in super fancy houses. At least in movies. I've never really been in a super fancy house, but I like the sound. Like there's like this ambient kind of like low rumble-ish kind of, and uh, mix in with some other sounds. I like it. What do you got here? Flower Hills. I when they shut down the asylum, I've heard rumors about inefficient management. Oh wow. If you want to read it, please pause it here. I'm going to read it. Ah, who, who cares? If you if you don't want to hear me read it, just fast forward. So Tuesday, February 1st, 1994, the shame that keeps shaming. Following a wave of employee complaints, the Flower Hill Mental Institution has officially shut down until an investor steps in. Older residents will remember the controversial founding of the Flower Hill Asylum for the insane. Before the disastrous 1967 rebranding attempt by the town's PR representative, Harry Birch. Although almost, wait, although almost forgotten by the public, Mr. Birch's attempt to spruce up the town's image for investors brought a slew of fire hazards, dangerous materials, and even obsolete medical practices to light, tarnishing our small town's image for decades. Getting paid on time is the least of it, but it's the last straw. We've asked the authorities to renovate, at least fix some issues. No one takes the matter seriously, says Vivian Blackwood, senior nurse, as the building's main entrance is being sealed. It's hell in there. Whether new investment sees this eyesore demolished or renovated is unclear. For now, all of the institution's patients will be shifted to other hospitals and the building will be closed to the public. Okay. Uh, yep, there we go. New journal entry? Hot dog! Okay. I found this uh, next to the entrance. That's not the right one, is it? Oh, it's literally just... Okay. Well, I guess we might need to reference that later. Who knows? Got some John Lennon sunglasses. I like all the cool old stuff. It seems... Oh, uh, never mind. Not gonna say it. Wouldn't be prudent. Looking at all of, like, the... The... The candles and, like, the lanterns and, like, just all the flame. Yeah, I don't think this is... Oh, whoop. I thought that was gonna take us... Wait, what is down here? Is this plant leaving those pine cones? That's what I'm led to believe. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of getting a feel for it, I guess. I guess. Can we take this? No, we can't. I already checked. Huh. So I'm at this point, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I, I do, I've never claimed to be the best gamer, and I'm definitely not the best at these types of games, wandering around and stuff, um, but I'm just gonna say, like, despite that, I feel like I'm probably average, and so the average being, um, that I've lost direction. Lost direction. So, like, there's nothing guiding us anymore. Is there a door that I missed up here that needs to be opened? I don't see anything, you know, and it's like, okay, well, there's a ton of bookshelves, and, like, this is the kind of house where you'd have, like, a secret, you know, you pull a book down halfway and then spit on the floor at your feet, and then the thing opens, or, you know, whatever, but how many books do we need to search for that? Those are cool. Or, like, you know, spin the globe and then hop on one foot six times?
No. And then I'm starting now that I'm going through and like looking at all the books. See those ones over there? They're the same as these ones over here. Which isn't a big deal, you know, it's books, like, it's, it's common to have that in game development, level design. There's no jumping, okay. It just seems weird that the, the that it ends right there, that landing, it ends right there instead of like like there being another stairway like this, you know, that kind of come down and join into this stairway. And I'm not I'm not commenting on level design, I'm commenting on like maybe it's a clue. I don't know. We don't have anything. Yeah, okay. We need a statue and a guitar still. And a minute hand, right? Is the minute hand in one of these bookshelves? tried this, right? Yep. Can we... There's no, like... Yeah, there's no way to, like, look in the keyhole or anything, you know, and, like, look through, like, can hello neighbor. We can't pick up that guitar. Did I miss the guitar? Is it... Hmm... Is a guitar and a pile of junk back here somewhere? It seems like there were a lot of those kinds of things in here, right? Like, you got skis and I just random stuff. Can we take the minute hand off of that and put it on the other clock? No. Yeah, I'm not... No more whisperings or like, you know, creepy noises. Can we take off this? Nope. Looking for a drawer to open or something. Uh... And I guess we could look look for codes too, but like I didn't see anything that pre that presented itself. Let's get our journal. Uh, Jane's message. I didn't. I don't remember seeing any numbers or anything in here, and I'm not about to like try to. <laughs> Decipher like every six letter or something, you know, and then like uh nineteen six no I didn't think so. What's oh well, I'm going to call this video here and like wander around a little bit and figure it out and then um, i'll I'll pick up in the next video when I figure something out. That's it for this one. I'm playtesting this game to the gameround.co. That's the URL platform. You can go there and do the same thing if you so desire. In the bottom right, you can see the name of the game. It's Westwood Shadows, and it's pre-alpha, pre-alpha demo. Uh, this game is slated to come out sometime this year, and you can find it on Steam right now, but uh, there's also the demo, which is probably the same thing I'm playing. But thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. I release content every day when YouTube lets me. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.